Hey, how's everyone today? So we have a Lexus NX200T and we have a common problem with this car. A lot of these Lexuses have this problem for some reason. I think they've probably fixed it by now, but if you look at the uh, the screen, let me see if I can get the perfect angle here. Yeah. Yeah. You see the, uh, what this actually is, is where the people that's owned this car before us has cleaned this improperly. And Lexus actually acknowledged that they had a defective anti-glare coating that they was using. They call it defective. I mean, if you would have wiped it down with a terry cloth instead of whatever people was using, it probably would have lasted okay. But um, th this stuff is, is half of it's gone. And you can't really, I mean, it doesn't just scratch off, you know, the way the way you would hope that you could just scratch the rest of it off. So I'm going to try to polish this off just to make, just to get rid of all this anti-glare coating. Uh, I'm going to try to polish it to where it looks perfect. The only thing is it's not going to have any of this leftover uh, anti-glare coating. Uh so the only other option you have is to replace this screen and Lexus was replacing these under warranty as long as you was within the warranty period but this car is outside the warranty period so we're going to have to deal with this ourselves. now you can replace this screen and that's all, always an option so the way I look at it I can, I can try to do something with it if it doesn't work then I'll replace the screen um, but I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to get this stuff off by polishing at least that's what I hope. So let me get this. I'm going to get this taped off. Let me show you what, what I'm going to use. I ordered some stuff. Now, I ordered this polishing kit. This is a kit. I uh, forget how many pieces you get, but it's got one inch, two inch, and three inch uh, pads. Different. You know, all the different colors represent a, a different coarseness I guess or hardness of foam pad so depending on what you're polishing out you can uh, pick the appropriate pad and I'm not a professional polisher so I'm not sure what all the different colors represent but I think what I'm going to do I'm going to go with the the reason I ordered this particular kit is I didn't know if a one inch or a two inch would be best to use for that size of screen I think a two inch is going to probably work fine now it comes with two arbors and these are the nicer arbors that you can see are, I think these. this is 5 8 18 thread pitch. This arbor is threaded. And then this one, 5 8 18, and it's just straight so you can snap it in a, and chuck it up in a drill. And then of course you've got your, um, you know, your receptacle here, or your uh, polishing mandrel. Like I guess this is the mandrel here, this is the... Uh, I guess the adapt whatever you'd call these the adapter that you know we're going to use this one so I'm going to screw this together um, and then you would stick whichever pad which whichever one of these pads that you're going to use you'd stick to this and the compound we're going to use is mother's mag and aluminum polish now I use this stuff for everything I don't just polish mags and aluminum with this stuff I polish brass steel uh, I, I have polished headlights with it and this stuff works miracles in my opinion so this is this is what I have this is what we're going to use I'm not saying that there's not something that's better for this particular polishing job but that's what I've got on hand that's what I'm going to use and we're going to see how it works and like I say we're going to use this uh, mandrel and I'm thinking this terry, terry cloth there's a nice soft terry cloth here, and then there's this uh, this one here is a little bit more coarse. So just to make sure that this is now you could always start off with the more coarse one, and then finish it up with the softer terry cloth, or use one of these foam uh, pads. I'm not sure which one's going to be the best one to start off with, but let me get this thing taped up. I'm going to figure out which one of these we're going to use, and then the next time I turn the camera on, we're going to be ready to polish. Okay, so I've decided to go with the uh, the blue terry towel or terry cloth pad. 
I've got the adapter all chucked up in the drill. We'll grab our mothers. And you don't want to spin it. Whenever you're polishing on plastic, you've got to spin it slow. Because if you spin it too fast, it generates, uh, it can generate enough heat to where you start melting the plastic. So this drill's got a, a, a slow and a high speed, so I've got it on slow just to, uh, you know, be as safe as possible. I've got the display taped off, and I've taped it off. Now this this coating looked to me like it's only, so this display's got about another inch on both sides and then about a quarter of an inch up on top, but it looked to me like the, the display itself, you know, the the part that actually is visible and that powers on is only a, it's a smaller section of the entire size of this the panel. So I only taped off the part that's got the coating on it. And uh, so that's all we're going to focus on. And hopefully this isn't going to make, I was going to use a bunch of paper or towels and stuff, but I'm hoping I'm not going to sling this stuff everywhere. Hopefully I'm going to be able to spin it slow enough to where it's not going to make it too big of a mess. So let's see how this goes. And before we get too far, I just, I want to get, I want you to see the before uh, deal. So I'm going to, I'm going to move this camera around so that hopefully you really get a good idea of just how bad this display looks. Hopefully I'm getting the, enough of the angles to where you can, you can see that. There goes nothing. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of this stuff right here on this pad. That's all I'm going to start off with. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Just a little bit more compound. I don't have any idea how long I really need to do this to get that off. So here in a minute I'm going to wipe this off and see if we're making any progress at all. see where we're at.
it does look better looks like it's got some of it off so we're going to keep going Definitely better. Whew, I need a break. I'm going to go get a different pad. This is the blue. This was the softest pad that was in the kit. You know, just wanted. I didn't want to do any kind of scratching on the display. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get a more coarse pad. And then I can follow it up with this pad if I need to. I actually put the red pad on, so we're going to see how that does. Okay, let's see our progress. Oh, that looks so much better right there. Hopefully you're able to get an idea. Yeah, I think this is going to work good. Another five minutes, we'll be done. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to go switch to the other pad. We're going to finish this up. Okay, let me get this cleaned up, and then I'm going to show you the finished product. Actually, just so you know that there's no shenanigans going on here. This is not as clean as we will be able to get it. Still got to clean it up. You can see some 
marks in it, but that anti-coating is completely gone now. So let me finish getting it clean with the uh, window cleaner. All right, that looks exactly like a brand new display. And you may be asking yourself, well, what's it look like, you know, whenever it's on? And I don't know. I haven't turned it on yet, so let's take a look. I mean, it's, uh, it literally looks brand new. There's no anti-glare coating, so it might have a little bit more glare, but at least you can see the uh, words and, and images on it now. Anyway, um, this was a uh, 2015 Lexus NX 200T. A lot of these Lexuses have these displays like this. If yours is, you know, if it looked the way this one did, then this is one option for you to, uh, you know, just try to polish that stuff off. And, uh, you know, as I told you, I finished it up with a, uh, you know, with the blue pad. And all I'm using is the uh, Mother's Magan Aluminum Polish. I use this stuff on everything. Obviously, I just used it on plastic. I've used it on aluminum. I've used it on metal or steel. Uh, stainless steel, you know, anything you want to polish, that mother seems to work real good. Anyway, we're done. This looks brand new. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.